up. Guys, how's everybody doing today? I am here with my buddy Miller. Yo. Yo. How is everybody, um, you know, doing? Uh, you can't really answer us, but you can comment. Certainly. Maybe even like. Perhaps even subscribe. But yes. you gotta remember that if you do hate the content, you have to dislike it. <laughs> <laughs> dislike spam. We, one day we get 10,000 views. They just absolutely hate it. I mean, you gotta you gotta remember, man. It's um the KC you, Tron. Had to, YouTube removed their dislike button. KC you know? Tron just. <sighs> <laughs> I love how their their you get, solution. Like an auto clicker. Their solution was that if a video gets so many dislikes within a certain amount of time, it automatically shuts the video down. But at the same time, like one Twitch community can just be like, dislike the video now. And then it, like, murks their whole entire YouTube channel. Yep. Like, once they get so many reports, it just pretty much automatically bans it's their... Like, it's like all of Twitter, yeah. where they just got, like, everyone has to try to cancel this one guy. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, not that long ago was another incident where people tried to cancel PewDiePie on Twitter. Should we do an intro? I don't, I don't know. Hey, guys. Anyways, this is our podcast. We're going to start doing uh, that. We had episodes. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll be uploaded. I don't know. It's a bit of a technical but, um, issue. Yeah, you know. I guess this is the first, but not first episode. Possibly? <laughs> question mark. We'll see. This could be the eighth episode, or it could be the first episode. It may be even the fourth. I don't know at this point. Yep. But yeah, yeah. This would probably be the first it's technical, but not the first. Yep. But yeah. Um. Yeah. So, anyways, you know how it'd be. Technical difficulties Where was we and at? all that. Well, I mean, at this point, we've covered many topics, but assuming that <laughs> none of the other <laughs> uh, topics have probably been uploaded, we would have to either talk about those topics again. Are we or making just... the? Are we making the the Starburst sandwich over there? Uh, maybe. Starbucks Club sandwich. Perhaps. Yeah. Hey, man. Last I checked. Oh, dude! Can... All you need now is toothpick to go through all. Oh, would be cool. However, um, unfortunately, you cannot buy Starburst at Starbucks. You ever think about that? You won't know. You won't know something. Hmm. We could. All right, billion dollar idea here. <laughs> Starbucks kebabs. How? <laughs> Just a big long stick like the nerds ropes, except for it says Starbucks kebab. Hmm. Anyways, we're streaming this live on Twitch. <laughs> on Twitch.tv. Yes. So you guys should, um, you know, check it out. Not sure how I'm going to get this on Miller's channel yet. <laughs> Something we'll figure out as well. But yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm here with my buddy Miller as well. I've already told you this, but yeah, you can see we are very unorganized for this. We've been jumping through some hoops today, mm -hmm. you know, trying to figure out a way to record because YouTube's updated policy mm -hmm. and, you know, you can't go live mobile without, uh, you know, requirements being made. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you think about, you know? Halo Infinite. I heard you reached Platinum tier in your competition. <laughs> I did not. And everybody else is on, like, gold. <laughs> no, I am not. They said you was on, uh, Platinum. Me? Yeah. You might have been told that about a different Miller, because I know another Miller who plays Halo Infinite, and he plays for the eSports team at the Career Center. Oh. 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 Now, okay, different Miller, different Miller. I would... I would have, but Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is not a game that they are currently. They're playing gonna for. do. They're gonna do it later in the year, though. So mm -hmm. you're gonna be on the Smash Brothers team, correct? I'm gonna definitely try to. Nice. Mm -hmm. That will be interesting. See, their problem right now is um, they only have like two people, so they need more people. 
Mm-hmm. Like, they have enough people, but if somebody doesn't show up, they'll be forced to forfeit the game. Yeah. <laughs> so that's just kind of, you know, imagine making it to, like, you know, actually competition level, and then you you don't get to go anywhere. Like, you, you have three super amazing people, super good at the game. Competition level, like, could possibly win, but somebody doesn't show up. And, you know, there goes your whole entire chance. You don't have no backup. Yeah, like, I realistically could probably play, mm, carry most of it. Like, I could be, like, one or two people. Uh, like, you don't really need that many people to represent where, Smash. Where, where's the star, like, where's the Stardew Valley esports team, you know? <laughs> like, that's, that's what I would, I would watch that. Would you watch that? Yo, if, if my friend heard you say that, he would probably pop off right now. <laughs> he loves Stardew Valley. Man, it's a fun game. Have you played Stardew Valley? No, I have not. I kind of want to because of how much my friend is hyping it up. My sources tell me that it is a, uh, to say the least, phenomenal game. It's a a really fun game, and it has kind of some mystery to it. It, it, It's really fun in the sense of if you like that kind of like animal animal crossing style game yeah, but, was, you know was, like a more grown-up version of it almost i was told it's like animal crossing mixed with terraria also on crack <laughs> it's I, kind of sort of but not really it I, I i like to think of it more as it's animal crossing but a grown-up version and more like a, and not animals you know yeah like it's more of a what would be a good example? You know, like the old school, like MMORPG, stuff like that? Yeah. But, like, I'm talking about super old school, you know, like, way back to when. Like the style. original Fire Emblem. Yeah. Or, you know, kind of like uh, how that map system used to be in, like, Zelda 2. How you have that map system, how you, like, yeah. walk across it. Like yeah, that, but that but, was bad, though. Zelda 2 was not a great game. But in a good way, in a good way. Like, the whole game is the map, in other words. Like Zelda 1. Yeah, yeah, I, you know what? Yeah, we'll just call it like Zelda one. I mean, but yeah, yeah, I, 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 I compare it to that, but without the fighting and more of you know like a actual thing. But there is fighting in the game as well. Mm. There is a mine, which is actually really fun. It's kind of like a little like. Uh, have you ever played um Minecraft? <laughs> no, not Minecraft. Uh, like Darkest Dungeon or something like that. Or Pixel Dungeon, Pixel Dungeon, on, like, your phone. No. I would recommend it, but, uh, you know, it's a dungeon crawler game, in other words. Like, Diablo, almost. Like, whenever you're in there. Is Stardew Valley on mobile? No? Question mark? I don't think it is. Shouldn't be, but, um, I know it's probably on the Switch. Just taking a guess. But, yeah, I'd recommend you, if you do get it, get it on your Switch, because you play your Switch a lot, correct? Mm Mm-hmm. So you could just, like, hop on, you know, do some farming, have some fun. It's a, it's an interesting town. <laughs> just right, I got that right switch. here. <laughs> but, yeah. Stardew Valley is definitely a fun game. I, I like the farming aspect. I'm going to be honest with you. I like the farming. I like the grinding in the game. Like, I'm, I've always been a fan of, like, most of the survival games. Because I, I just get into it. The forest, I kind of had that. The Forest is a wonderful game, okay? Have you ever played The Forest? No. No. It's all right if you have. Yeah, I don't think. Do you have a PC? Like a gaming PC? No. Nope. Exactly. I'm going to. If you don't have a PC, then you're not going to be playing most of those or games. Or a Steam Deck. Yeah, or a Steam Deck. I want to buy a Steam Deck. But I feel like I'm going to get in trouble with it because I'm never going to get off the Steam Deck. <laughs> like those hours Super Smash Bros Ultimate played for 1255 hours mm-hmm. it's just hours or more <laughs> or more or more see like it's it's like on Steam you know you play like Gary's Mod Platoon 3 came out last week and I already have 70 hours in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like Gary's Mod dude like I had Mountain Blade Warband they had uh, Napoleonic Wars I would play the hell out of it. It was unbelievably fun. And then they had um, uh, Gary's Mod. You know, Gary's Mod, play the heck out of it. What are we looking at? Well, 
I'm looking at my Splatoon 2 played hours. Mm -hmm. Splatoon 3, I already have 70 hours, right? So okay. My total playtime in Splatoon 2 overall is 270. <laughs> so I'm already pretty close <laughs> to that yeah. total already. Um, well, it, it, it's... Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 yeah. for Nintendo Switch played for 580 yeah. hours. Have you played Dragon Dragon Quest Builder? Um, I have Dragon Quest Builders 2. I want to I, I want to get it and I, play it, but I feel like it's not going to be the way I think it's going to be. Well, I mean, I wanted to play Dragon Quest um I think what well, I think it's Heroes, yeah. which is just a warrior's game. It's the classic like yeah. run around slash everything you see. Yeah. Like it's not like a traditional Dragon Quest at all. But guess what? What? You can't buy it. It's not a game that you can obtain. You know why? Because we live in America. <laughs> yeah. It's exclusive to Japan for some reason. Or I guess Asia. I'm, I'm sure there's sure. some way you can get around that. I could buy the Japanese physical copy. Yeah. I mean, it's not digital only. I'm not sure if my Switch could handle Japanese hardware. Because I have an American one. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I want to... Also, I wouldn't be able to read anything. Yeah. I'm sure there's like a mod or like something you can yes, download. Yes, my jailbroken to, switch. To turn it into a, like a. Yeah, I'm gonna go jailbreak English. my switch real quick. Don't mind me. I'm just <laughs> Don't up. joke about that. Nintendo will shut you down. They will like burn their switch to the there's ground. There's literally like websites where you can like send your switch to get jailbroken. Yeah. I'm like. They had that with a 3DS. It's, it's like the old school, like PlayStation 3s and stuff. You could jailbreak them, right? And then nobody, Sony and them really didn't care. Then they realized, oh, wait a minute. Movies are still releasing through the PlayStation Store <laughs> yep. and PS3. And people are just buying movies without buying them. Without buying them. We're losing money. Until they crack down on yeah. it. And then there's Microsoft, who just openly lets people mod Minecraft. Well, yeah, like, that's that's one thing I do like about Xbox, if you haven't noticed, with, like... Uh, and like, Bethesda, Bethesda, they've opened up their mod, like... It's like, it would like be stupid. It, it. it would have been stupid if they would have released Skyrim again. <laughs> and, and again. you know, it didn't have no mods on it, considering that was the thing that was really keeping their fan base alive. What's that? You know? People were actively modding. The yeah, game. they were actively modding the game. You could do all kinds of stuff. It, it never really got boring because you could just add more and more stuff to it. I saw a video. I don't know who it was, but I think it was from Slime Sickle, maybe. Yeah. But he applied like every mod he possibly could yeah. to Skyrim at the same time. Yeah. Oh boy, that was a fun video to watch. Yeah. It's a. It's a. Uh, let's see. Uh, I like mods and don't like mods because of the, th the fact of I like achievements and playing Skyrim. You know, there is a few mods I have, but it's all Creation Club stuff. Mm. So you're still able to get achievements. Mm. Like if you had, like I, I'm, I was going to do the survival mod, but I just don't have the patience for it. How you have to like eat and sleep and drink yeah. and stay warm. You have to wear warm clothes and stuff, you know. I just wouldn't have the patience for it. So I didn't do it, but I did do the other mods where, uh, like, you can go fishing or, you know, you have stuff like that and different armor sets and stuff. Yeah. And uh, different crossbows. I did download those just because, I mean, that, that, that's kind of cool, and you can still get achievements. And then there's other games, like, uh, you have... Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. Minecraft's an excellent example. Although everything costs, like, mine coins and stuff, so it's kind of aggravating. Or you can download them actually off of, like... Actual mods. Yeah, actual mods off of, like, Microsoft Edge and crap, but... Like, mine, like Minecraft, just, like, PC yeah. version. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting, but... I don't know. And then you have Fallout, another Bethesda game. All those mods are released. But you you know that boosted console up way way up. like no matter what every time I hop on my Xbox normally there's always one that one person playing Fallout yeah you know they're either on a new run or they're doing something and it's Fallout Four and you know not really my type of game 
favorite of the Fallout series, but it's one I've played the most of. Mm. So it's like, that's one thing that Fallout 4 gets a lot of hate and a lot of, like, damage to it. And everybody likes Fallout 3, Fallout 3. But Fallout 4 generally is fun to play. Well, one thing I realized is um, games can be bad or poorly developed, but be yeah. a heck of a lot of fun. Jump yeah. Force is a great example. Yeah. Game is awful. Graphics yeah. look horrendous for the most yeah. part. Um, certain mechanics don't yeah. properly work. Blocking is weird. But a lot of things wrong with the game. Fun. But my goodness, do I think it's fun to play. Yeah, but it's fun. That's the main Unless thing. you're fighting All Might. But that's the main thing. Is like If a game... It's like the older Call of Duties. It's like if I go back and play Black Ops 2, I have more fun than I do playing like World War 2 or playing, you know. World War 2 is just not infinite made or to playing be fun. Advanced Warfare or you know crap like that. But even Advanced Warfare, I'm starting to have fun playing it more than like I would like well, the new Modern Warfare, which the new Modern Warfare I found fun. I'm going to take that one back, retract that. I did like Modern Warfare. That one's actually really fun. But compared to like Cold War, I didn't really like Cold War that much. World at War is one of the best ones. World at War, yes. The campaign excellent. I love I like I absolutely love the co-op campaign. Yeah. The also the my favorite series is probably like the Black Ops ones. I really mm-hmm. like their Black Ops except Black for Ops four. one. I did not like four. The best series for Call of Duty for me. Mm. Definitely the Modern Warfare series, but and I'm talking about the old one. Not like not, not the, the new ones. ones. But like just story-wise and everything and they had Spec Ops was amazing. But the strongest <laughs> individual story game, Black Ops One, I feel. Huh. But Black Ops Two had like the best zombies. Black right? Ops One and Two has the best story, but their other like three and four came out, and it just the series was kind of like I thought down. Three had That's a... why I put Modern Warfare way ahead of well, like the Black Ops series in general. The way I put Black Ops is <laughs> Black Ops One. Had a great, like, yeah. story and all that. It had a lot of things going for it. <laughs> it had the very timeless style. Black Ops 2 was just really well developed. Really yeah. interesting, fun to play overall. Just everything kind of hit yeah. a good mark. And then 3 was yeah. great for its multiplayer, but nothing else really. Yeah. I mean, it had good I, DLC. I, I, I didn't really... I didn't really... It had great DLC, though. Yeah. I didn't really too much care for the, for the uh, multiplayer on Black Ops 3. Oh, look at that. A bell. Yeah. Well, we're out of time, though, but... You know, hope you guys uh, enjoy, and we'll see you guys in the next one. You want to say anything more? Hopefully we don't run into more technical difficulties. Yeah, but I think uh, from now on, we'll just stream it on Twitch. I'll upload it to YouTube, and, you know, we'll do it like this. It'll, it'll be a fun time. And it'll probably work. Probably. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Sub- Bye, guys. Subscribe. Subscribe. Okay.